But we begin with the New York Times reporting Israeli officials learned of Hamas's plan for the October 7th terror attack more than a year before it happened. According to the Times, Israel obtained a 40-page document outlining the group's strategy for the attack. It did not specify a date. Israeli intelligence officials reportedly dismissed the plan as aspirational. It's unclear if Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu saw the document himself. The Israeli military declined to comment on the New York Times report. Bilal Saab joins me now. He's a senior fellow and director of the Defense and Security Program at the Middle East Institute. Bilal, just uh, first question, what do, you, what, you, what do you make of this? Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised this is breaking news. To be honest with you, I've, like many other scholars, I've, I've known about this for some time. Uh, the issue was not really a problem of intelligence connect collection or intelligence analysis. This was more an intelligence failure when it came to imagination, frankly. The Israelis didn't believe that Hamas would pull off something so spectacular and so successful, ultimately. The fact that it's being leaked now has a very interesting timing. I just don't want to come up with definitive conclusions right now. But the bottom line of what I want to share with you is that I think we've learned and we've known about this for quite some time now. Now it's a matter of you know, seeing what kind of a political backlash this is going to cause for the uh, Israeli government. So, Bilal, let me just um, uh, get a little more clarity on that. When you said it was a failure of imagination, that reminds me of what used to be said about the, the mistakes that were made before the 9-11 attacks in America, that the intelligence officials couldn't imagine using planes as weapons. Is, is, right. is, is this in that same category? Because surely the Israelis knew that Hamas was trying consistently um, to do various different things. And a 40-page document seems pretty detailed. And according to the Times reporting, it seems to map pretty closely with what actually happened. So did they just think that Hamas couldn't pull it off? Or because it seems like the imagination had a lot of guidance with that document. Well, I think that if you look at the kind of cooperation and the uh, coordination that was taking place, frankly, even if it were indirect between Hamas and the Israeli government, they never expected that Hamas would pull off something like this. And I like the parallel that you drew, John, but the more appropriate one in my mind is 1973, frankly. Mm -hmm. The fact that the Israelis had enough intelligence about what the Arabs were going to do and the fact that they were going to attack on two fronts, but they still didn't believe that they would pull off something like this, especially after the crushing defeat of 1967. The puzzle that we had pre-9-11 was vastly imperfect, and so we still had a problem of intelligence. This is not a problem of intelligence or information, if you want to call it raw information from the Israelis. They had plenty of it. That puzzle was nearly perfect. It was a problem, once again, of analysis, of interpretation, of not believing that Hamas was going to pull off something like this. So, Bilal, final question. What, you mentioned the political consequences. What do you think they could be um, for Netanyahu and the Israeli government while they're in the middle of uh, this conflict? Oh, John, there's going to be a day of account accountability for sure. It's not today because we're in the midst of war still. The Israeli public are not going to punish or exact political costs on this Israeli government. But that day is going to come. This is quite embarrassing. And in many ways, it suggests the failure of Bibi Netanyahu's government to deal with something like this, despite the fact that they had all sorts of signs, all sorts of intelligence to actually act on it. But that day of accountability is not today. Bilal Saab, thank you so much for joining us and helping us understand this. We really appreciate it. No problem, John. Thank you.